Ooh. Okay, that's another one and done. I love that. Hey, it's Gavin Rathbun. We're here on the back nine at Harvey Pennick Golf Campus here in Austin, Texas for the Open. Hole 10 is an inviting 400 foot hyzer or anhyzer if you need some serious skills and you're just trying to get it to skip not too far to the left, stay off the golf green on the right. And yeah, gonna be a lot of enforcers thrown out here today. Try to throw one more a little wider. Basket sandwiched in between the two. I was right in my assessment that I had the basket sandwiched. Okay, let's keep this rhythm for the whole back nine. Birdie putts, birdie putts, birdie putts. Okay, we made it to hole 11. We have a left to right wind. I'm gonna try one side arm through the, what looks like the bigger gap, and then one backhand through this gap, these two leaning trees. It's only 335 feet, so whichever one has the highest percentage is which one I'm gonna go with for the tournament. Orbit fell in backhand. All hyzer. Low percentages there. Oh my goodness. Thanks, bud. That's just way too much disc. Try that one more time with the beefy boy. Okay. I like the backhand, just need to throw it better. There's no little hanging fingertips or nothing over here, just a little tighter of a gap. It's nothing. <laughs> Impossible putt there. Just a full row of trees. Don't miss to the left side, don't miss to the right side. Miss straight on and straight behind. We're out here on hole number 12. It's a par four, first one in a little bit, 660 feet. The first shot is to stay in bounds. I guess all these trees have a little out of bounds circle around them. I'm seeing some white stakes straight ahead. It looks like 400-ish feet. And then it bends very hard to the right. So they're asking for you to take some distance off the first shot, but it's gonna be hard too. A lot of OB. Gonna try to find some gaps in the fairway. That is definitely the problem with that play. Ah! Way too freaking much. Okay. On to hole number 13 now. It's a 352 foot par three with OB up on the right side. 
Looks like it plays pretty far up the hill. I'm gonna play it as like a 420, 430 foot shot, hopefully. We're gonna go with the Explorer. <sighs> Oof. Okay, that's another one and done. I love that. Out here on hole number 14, it looks like just a simple little 300 foot shot. It's almost in like a squared off island. Um, you just gotta park this one. There's not too much more to it. It's a good headwind. We're gonna just try to play this justice right over this hill, slide it back in bounds. Oh my gosh. Oh. Switch it up to the felon, same plan. Oh my goodness. Can't get my head on straight. I'm so salty about losing that disc. Oh my, Lanta. All right, good enough. Gonna have to get out here and practice this one a few more times. There we go. Drip at least one of them in there. Next hole looks fun. We're out here at hole number 15. It's probably the funnest looking hole on the course so far. Just a downhill, 425 foot shot. OB green right in front, OB directly behind the basket. It's all about distance control on this hole. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Probably a sidearm and then a little flexi shot. Need to figure out about how far it's playing. Gonna try to trust this verdict on a small Anheuser. Hopefully it gets down there. Oh, too stable. Decent distance. One more time with the Claymore. Come on, buddy. That looked good. I'll try one sidearm just in case. Go! Out here at hole number 16, it's only a 500 foot par four, but everything is OB. You must land right or be right next to the basket. So my play is gonna be get over to the right side of these trees or equal with the trees and hopefully just have a soft short upshot from there. It's kind of a, I don't wanna say gimmicky, but it's, it's just a weird shot. There's not a lot to it. It's hard to tell what's going on. Let's just try to make it as simple as possible. 250 feet, 250 feet, walk away with a birdie. Perfect. Let's try one more. Even better. It's a big crasher. <sighs> Lovely. Don't have to make this one harder than it is, that's for sure. Oof. 
Moving on. Oh, I've heard good things about this one. We've made it to hole number 17, a 436 foot par four. It's tight off the tee. It's a tight second shot. The first shot only allows you to get maybe 200 feet comfortably. I'm gonna try to play one over here and throw a grenade over the top. And then I'm gonna try to play one down the actual chute. Let's see if it works out. Um, <sighs> I saw that one land just a little bit short. Don't like that sound. Don't think that's gonna be the play. Holy cow. Oh gosh. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky again. We'll take that though. So both putts. So Okay. That's a weird one. Okay, we've made it to the last hole, hole number 18. It is an uphill 800 foot par four. Not only do you have to carry at least a few hundred feet, the green comes so narrow, it's not even the size of the circle up there. It's a very challenging finishing hole and it should make this weekend very interesting. That's on the freaking green. Okay. This shot reminds me a lot of like hole 13 or 14, whatever one it was that was just up the hill. It said like 350 feet. This one also says 350 feet from here. So I'm gonna try to play that exact same shot. <sighs> Go right a little. Oh. <laughs> that was so lucky, I need to throw another one. Oh, that one was so good and that happened. Oh. And that's it for our practice round out here. It's a pretty crazy course. It's long, it's difficult. If it's windy, it's gonna play hard. I'll see you guys out here this weekend.